Welcome. Here you'll learn about turrets. Turrets will prioritize the first enemy that enters their attack range. You will take heavy damage if you attack a turret by yourself. Let minions take damage for you. Your minions are taking the turret's fire. Now is the time to attack. When you go near a turret, you will see one of three colored circles on the ground. The colors indicate how the turret will behave. Green. The turret is attacking other units. You won't be attacked if you enter its range. Yellow. The turret is not attacking any units. You will be attacked if you enter its new mission. Destroy the enemy. An enemy champion is coming to protect the turret. Turrets will protect champions on their team. Attacking enemy champions within range of their turret. New mission. Defeat the enemy. Master Yi. Excellent. Let's keep going and destroy the enemy turret. Congratulations! You've completed the tutorial. Now it's time to practice in a real match. you'll learn about monsters and the jungle. First, let's learn about the buff monsters. The blue sentinel and the red brambleback. The blue sentinel is commonly called the blue buff. After defeating the sentinel, champions will gain a temporary buff that adds mana and health regeneration. The red brambleback is commonly called the red buff. After defeating the brambleback, Champions will gain a temporary buff that adds true to follow the arrows on the ground and attack the blue sentinel. Using smite will let you slay jungle monsters more efficiently. Well done! You've successfully defeated the blue sentinel and gained the crest of insight buff. Next, follow the arrows and attack the Red Brambleback. Terrific! You've successfully defeated the Red Brambleback and gained the Crest of Cinder's buff. Next, let's learn about the Rift Scuttler. Rift Scuttlers will spawn after the game begins, one in each half of the river. They will respawn shortly after being defeated. After a Rift Scuttler is defeated, it spawns a speed shrine in the river. The shrine grants an area of effect movement speed buff and vision to allies. Follow the arrows and attack the Rift Scuttler. Let's learn about elemental drakes next. Elemental drakes are commonly called dragons. Defeating an elemental drake grants your team a permanent buff that lasts until the end of the match. There are four types of elemental drake, and they spawn in a random order. After a drake is defeated, drakes of the same element will not spawn again. The marking on the dragon pit will show you what type of drake will spawn next. Congratulations! You've completed the tutorial. Now it's time to practice in a real match.